Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some flying robot with a... Oh my god, I have to sneeze, sorry. Mm, didn't calculate it before pressing record. But here we are in the recording. So yeah, we're, we're gonna be playing today a uh, flying robot with a uh, mother devil, which is not too mu much of a popular combo, but it was once before and... Uh, I'm trying to replicate the plans of this deck, so basically I'm gonna be playing Flying Robot, I'm gonna be playing fly, uh, Flying uh, Robot, uh, I mean, uh, Helicopter behind the Flying Robot, I'm gonna be playing a, uh, this, uh, Mother Devil to spawn uh, Devils, which will definitely translate into a lot of profits. I'm gonna play Digger here, I would love this, <laughs> I would love this Flying Robot to go in front already, but I didn't, so yeah. Digger kinda trolled my uh, plants here, but at the same time it doesn't really matter since I'm gonna get poison here. Anyway, I'm gonna get my uh, helicopter anyway, like everything according to the plan. Uh, I think I'm gonna even get a helicopter on the tower, if I would, that would be fabulous. I'm gonna get the archers first, okay, and then I'm gonna get a helicopter on the tower, which is, like I said, uh, absolutely everything I need. So. Uh, since I've taken one tower without any struggle, I'm gonna just go for another flying robot. There's n really no reason not to. Uh, I probably actually could have done even uh, the re if reverse. I could have gone for a mother devil first and then a flying robot in the pocket to tank for both towers, but well. Uh, first, he played a. Uh, oh, that's actually gonna be a huge poison value. I'm gonna absolutely take everything here. I'm gonna tank for my uh, Robo Pups. I'm gonna uh, take out the Mana Pump and every single support card. So that was like the uh, wet dream of the robot player. I uh, absolutely overcommitted with a uh, T Rex. Uh, this shouldn't be in the play. I'm gonna play a flying robot here to just block this helicopter and don't allow it to shoot my uh, tower. Uh, at the same time, I think I'm gonna just go for the uh, for the Super Devil to uh, defeat this balloon uh, ASAP. It's gonna get one hit, I'm pretty uh, okay with that, but there's, that's not uh, too big of a deal. Uh, actually, he's having a lot of like air counters, so my flying robot will uh, not even reach the tower and it will already die. Uh, but I have another flying robot and that's uh, the beauty of playing flying robot in double mana. If your opponent uh, kinda struggles to create a counterplay, you basically can do this thing to people and they will be very very mad. He's not gonna get a 3 star, I mean I'm not gonna get a 3 star from this game, but it was absolutely enough to uh, secure my win 2-0 in the first game, I jumped in the game number 2. In the game number 2 we're gonna be facing 3D22, sorry for the... Uh, um, for the uh, soundbar, but... Uh, Sometimes I just forget to turn it off because before like resuming my recording. Either way, we're gonna be going with a Mother Devil into a Steel Hammer, which is like the perfect case scenario for us. He's gonna actually go all in uh, at the bridge with a Machine Gun and a Bomb Tower, which I don't even think is a bad play. He's gonna get some of his damage. And um, yeah, with that being said, right now it's uh, our turn to prove that we actually can deal something. And he's already 1000 damage above us, 1300 to be exact, yeah. I'm gonna play just uh, Mother Devil because he played very aggressive flying bomb which shouldn't ever come down and I think uh, I think we already secured the tower because I don't uh, see him uh, stopping this push anytime soon, he wasted his flying bomb for absolutely no reason, uh, these doubles will clean up eventually my push, but uh, the damage already has been done and the only uh, tower that he can uh, go for is the right side and like defending the right side would be tough, but defending the left side would be breeze and uh, as long as we hold the left side uh, we're gonna be being chilling. Here you go, I'm gonna just play Super Devil on top of the machine gun, how cool is that and he cannot block it, like he could block it but it would have been uh, very risky because if the block doesn't uh, um, doesn't succeed uh, he would be in uh, serious trouble. I'm gonna play uh, a T-Rex to just protect my helicopter, unfortunately it didn't work out as I intended. Now that uh, both towers are on the flying robot I'm gonna just play the digger. 
Uh, my T-Rex will clean up this uh, devils, which was very unfortunate for my opponent. Digger will tank for the both towers, as the Robopops are gonna be right now um, dealing even some damage on this tower, and the tower drops down, so he's gonna play Bomb Tower. I'm gonna play another Helicopter. It's just basically the deck that kinda hits your opponent from uh, all uh, sides that he doesn't expect, and... Uh, once you think that you've cleaned up like these uh, devils from the mother devil and it's over, it's not because uh, you're, you're gonna just be hit uh, from other angles as well. I'm gonna be playing actually uh, a bit aggressive because I want this 3 star and there we go, we're gonna get a 3 star victory in this matchup. He didn't even uh, went for another machine gun because I had a, a map control on his side which is Pretty hilarious and pretty bad for the machine gun player. Let's jump to the game number three. Uh, and yeah, GG well played. Alright, so this game we'll be playing against the Max 8, who's having 2400 medals, which is a very healthy amount of medals. It, it's certainly enough to be a top 10 player, or uh, am I tripping? Either way, I'm gonna just cycle a T-Rex, and he's gonna actually be playing Ghosts and Twins, which uh, is very likely uh, the uh, sign that he's gonna be playing a Viking Bridge. And also, uh, yeah, I would love to stop it. Uh, I'm not gonna stop it in a conventional way, and I'll have to like mitigate the damage here as well. Uh, so, uh, after all, he's getting a very good start and he's indeed gonna be playing a Viking Bird Spam. Uh, maybe with some deviation, I'm not 100% uh, sure. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a tough one because I don't have anything uh, like very solid on the ground. So, uh, we're gonna be able to uh, base trade a lot, but we're not gonna be able to defend as well. I'm gonna actually play a T-Rex because I actually want to defend this Viking. Uh, Usually you want to like base trade in this matchup like I said previously. But I think like this Viking is absolutely defendable for me. So whilst the chance I'm gonna absolutely take it. This digger will block it. And yeah, there, there we go. We're gonna get a hold, which is like uh Yeah, it it wasn't the cleanest hole, but at the same time, like I don't think I I can complain about this. Uh, I think next thing I want to do is just yeah, cycle the helicopter and after uh, he's gonna run out of like his secondary attack I'm gonna just go in uh, for a flying robot. I'm gonna play this footman keg here. I'm gonna play a, a mother devil because he goes with very aggressive bullets and uh, I've spent 10, he's spent uh, actually 10 as well. Now 13 and a half. So that's the timing where we want to go for the flying robot. So yeah, very, very cool to see. I'm gonna expect Viking on the opposite lane like instantly. Okay, he placed one in the back. That's the major difference. So uh, I think I'm gonna play just T-Rex in the back as well. And uh, now we're gonna just start playing a real video game. I'm gonna play the here uh, to just activate this ghost uh, and get something going. Uh, unfortunately, uh, these devils will grant uh, my opponent uh, a crap ton of value. And right now I'm gonna just go for a digger. He actually gets another set of devils here. Uh, I would love this helicopter to lock on the tower, but it's gonna be locked onto the uh, uh, onto the Viking. And his bullets absolutely get a huge value, so I'm gonna try to DPS this Viking as quickly as it's physically possible, so it doesn't like take my tower, because I don't have a guarantee that I'm taking his one. Okay, he, he's actually getting away with a crime here. I I thought this matchup would be a breeze, but it looks like... Uh, okay, as I'm saying this, he's getting absolutely obliterated here by my air cards and actually Super Devil connected to his tower, so uh, that's absolutely not good. And right now I'm gonna try just to spam and basically try to win. I don't think he has any other air defense apart from Devils and that's absolutely the case. Holy... So that was a very, very difficult match. I'm gonna good, give like good game and nice play because he didn't have a matchup at all and I didn't see that until the very end. Usually Viking Brickspawn deals very well against Flying Robot, but yeah, he he've done way better than I anticipated if I knew his deck before the match, but yeah, uh, that's gonna be GG's. Unfortunately, we take the dub uh, or fortunately, depending on you who are who you're cheering for and hopefully it's the uh, not flying robot because 
let's let's be real here we are the ones toxic so yeah let's jump to the game number four and in next game we're gonna be facing Garp with 30 mouse which is pretty much a sign that uh, my boy either is having a rough time in this game or just installed and win won his free games like uh, it's very tough to evaluate uh, newer players I would love to have a footman keg here because uh, I would be able to hold it, but since I won't be able to hold it, I have to go for a base trade, and I would love to see that Dark Knight not uh, three-starring me. Uh, if that would be the case, I would be very embarrassing, but like like I've said before, with Flying Robot, you kind of have to uh, get to learn that you basically cannot like always defend, you uh, sometimes have to base trade, and that's one of these uh, cases. I'm gonna play a footman kick, maybe that's my grave mistake because I previously needed it very desperately but yeah I mean he's still going for the attack and he should definitely defend this because his help I don't know why this helicopter was allowed to take his Viking tower but I ain't complaining that's a very fast game and unfortunately Garp didn't respect my uh, didn't respect my play so I'm gonna just take it up and move to the game number five of today's video and here we go to the last game of this video against Wam, who uh, I don't know if that's a JoJo reference. If you know the joke, you know the joke. But basically, um, he's gonna be a 20 metal player, and uh, I hope for some uh, cool games uh, once again. I'm gonna play Digger here because I have some le leftover troops, so let me just make some value out of them he's playing cannon which uh, would be a good play if it were to target a mother devil because it spawned one more devil and i think this one more devil actually seals the deal on this tower because right now all it takes is me just playing a poison on it whilst with one less devil obviously it's less tanking that's one thing and second of all it's less like dps it's like uh, integral if you learn that in school it's uh, it's not too a complete too complicated of a term but like uh, if you increase the base uh, and multiply it by time usually it uh, can stack up very quickly even though if you're uh, like increasing uh, I could even like compare it to a uh, rectangle so like uh, uh, the area of the rectangle increases uh, very uh, 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 increases uh, by a lot if you increase uh, one of the edges so like uh, I don't know if you have a rectangle uh, with like uh, which is like uh, 15 by 13 if you increase this 13 by 14 the area increases by 15 even though you increase the edge by one so that's pretty much what I meant but I couldn't like um, explain it by, uh, by the time of this action but fortunately my opponent kinda decided to give up to allow me to do this commentary so th there's some rant uh, from me uh, for you on how this deck works so hopefully you learned something I've played some off meta deck because it's definitely not like super uh, uh, super viable in this meta and if you want to see me playing more or like off meta decks uh, write in in a comment because uh, that's pretty much the best way of communicating with me suggesting some content if you want to see anything about a uh, boomerang and yeah thanks for watching till the end if you enjoy this content make sure to subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of boomerang